Half a century ago, New England's only native rabbit could be found as far south as New York, across Connecticut and Rhode Island, and north into Maine. But since that time, this rabbit's range has shrunk by almost 90%. One issue facing its recovery is finding where they still exist on the landscape. To do that, service biologists and their partners are trapping New England cottontails on lands where they believe populations have persisted. One partner is the Cherraho High School in Rhode Island, where students are building wooden traps for the service to use. I reached out to the Cheraho High School Career and Technical Center when I realized that we wanted to think about being able to also trap rabbits and we needed to have a quite a good number of traps to be able to spread them out in, in a bunch of different areas. So they gave it the thumbs up and then I went out and purchased all of the supplies that they would need to make 50 traps. Um, once I got all the materials there, I went in and I talked to the kids about New England cottontails and the work that we're doing and the conservation effort. And um, they had a lot of great questions. It was, it was really neat. This is our first year carpentry class. And this was a great project for us. And it was a, a great lesson to show the kids how working together it does a lot of, it has a lot of benefits. Time, accuracy, quality of the workmanship comes out much nicer. You had to take the plans, you had to learn how to get them to work so that you can actually build it. Then we had to learn how to use the machines. So we learned how to use the saw, the drill press, and then we did an assembly line so we learned how to work together and use things to help make it perfect. I hope that you catch a lot of New England cocktails. Inside you can see the, the foot pedal is all the way in the back and when you push that down the door will snap down and close like that. I liked working with like a group of people that was doing the same thing. We were able to work together and I think it would be like it would be satisfying seeing that something we built is actually helping do something in the world. It makes me feel good that we can help the environment and me being a teacher can show the kids that giving back is important. So now that we have, we have jigs and fixtures now that um, Fish and Wildlife wants to come back and ask us to build more, it's something we'd be glad to do. Inventory of the New England Cottontail is just one step in this collaborative effort across the rabbit's historic range. In some areas, partners are restoring habitat. In others, plans to boost populations through translocation move forward and research continues to help target possible conservation endeavors. Through investment by federal and state agencies, conservation organizations, landowners and others, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service hopes to restore rabbit populations to our New England lands.